The teamwork that goes into caring for diaphragmatic hernia babies involves a multitude of people. In order to optimise how the baby does and what these parents are able to go home with, it requires a, a team like this. to enable you to focus and concentrate on the needs of a baby with a diaphragmatic hernia. That takes a lot of communication. There's a lot of us on the team and communication's very important. We have an excellent set of core surgical nurses in the NIC. They have fantastic relationships with the families. They are there all the time to explain things. They are there to implement care. They are a crucial, crucial part of our neonatal surgical team. I think of our role as being the key um, person to help facilitate that communication among the specialties. The care of these infants is incredibly complex and they're often with us for weeks to months. There's a lot of stress on the family. Our social worker knows exactly what goes on during that time period and can help lead a family through the ups and downs that might occur in the newborn ICU. Before, during, and after birth, attention to detail for these critically ill diaphragmatic hernia babies is crucial. Every detail does matter and we know this because if one little thing has a little bump, sometimes that's enough with a very fragile CDH baby to change the outcome. The rounds in the chop neck are, uh, they're notable. There's a lot of us at each, at each infant's bedside. Initially parents get nervous that oh, something's wrong here, is all these people coming to my bedside, but it's just the group of us that are deciding what, what's in the baby's best interest and making the plan for the day. We have an open NIC. The families are welcome to be at the bedside 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We involve them from the very beginning. We meet most of them very early on, and we develop a relationship, and um, that, that's very helpful because sometimes there are really tough decisions to make. They constantly educated us and checked in with us. Talked to us and explained to us the procedure, and then we made a decision together as far as what would be the best for Simone. We will make recommendations, but really it's the family who's in control. It's the family who calls the shots. So they're really a very big part of the team, and they are involved in every decision, every step of the way.